Well, hello, Internet. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to make a WordPress featured content plugin. And the reason I'm doing this is Phil requested it. And this specifically is what Phil wanted me to make, this big giant guy right here. It's not too high, nice and wide, and it's going to pretty much provide all the different options that you would want in a featured content plugin. And since I'm going to show you how it's made from the ground up, you're going to be able to do anything here, change colors, change fonts, change anything you'd like, and even make totally different featured content plugins based off of these principles. If you didn't see my WordPress theme tutorial, you probably should watch that first. And also, if you didn't watch my WordPress plugin tutorial, you probably should watch that first as well. That'll ease you into this process. But somebody who's well-versed in WordPress and or programming in general should probably grasp most of what I'm going to do here today. And we have right here what I want to create, and then down here I'm going to build it step by step. And I'm going to start off, I have something called featuredcontent.php right here. And currently all that I have saved is this image right here and this image right here. And then of course we're going to populate this as time goes by. So I'm just going to jump right in here. And like I've said before, everything is a box. And most of the time that box is called a div. So what I'm going to do is I know I need a surrounding div that's going to surround everything. So I'm going to call that NTT featured content. And again, if you want any of this code, it's available in a link in the underbar. And then to close this off, to show you some good code practices, I'm actually going to come in here and close this off before it is even started. End of blank. So that way you'll be able to keep track of all the divs. So this div right here, all it's going to do is surround everything that is up here. And technically, I could come in here and style this immediately just so you know exactly what it's gonna look like. So if I jump into this guy, remember it was called NTT right there. This is actually normally how I work. I do everything piece by piece and you're gonna to wanna to position it relative to everything else on the screen and you're gonna to wanna to width of 954 pixels based off of the dimensions. And I created this image right here in Photoshop, by the way. He just sent me a sketch. There's the height, and it ends up being 326. And I'm getting all these dimensions from Photoshop. That's where they're coming from. And then just so we know where it's located, I'm going to define a border that I'm then going to get rid of in a little bit. But to start off, I'm going to actually have a border in here and give it a border of black. So if I file save that and jump over here and file save this just to make sure and reload it, you can see that there it is. There's the box, the border anyway, that pops up on the screen. So we're going to continue diving in here and making some more additional things. Well, I'm also going to be needing a div that is going to fill in for this text area over here. So I got to come in, create another div. That's all we're doing. And it's just going to be a div that's going to lie inside of that border. NTT text div, close that off. And then I'm going to copy this and close that off. End of Bank. Again, that's just there to alert me to what's going on. And then inside of the text box, I need to define another div, one for sales techniques, one for this underline, one for this text, and then one for this read more button that's down here. Let me zoom in. So one for this, one for this, one for this, and one for this. So I got to define four more divs inside of this text box div. And I'm going to give my next div a class equal to NTT article, title, and all of this information is going to be propagated inside of WordPress. And then I'm going to say, let's put sales techniques, and then we'll close that div off. And then we can file save this, and then I'm going to jump over into my style.css folder and make some changes here. So I'm going to go NTT, text, div, I'm going to position it relative, and that just means I want to position it relative to this div that contains it. That's all that means. Just go with the flow inside of the div you are in. And I'm going to say that I want a width of 377 pixels. Again, I figured out these dimensions by just looking at my Photoshop file. And I'd show you that Photoshop file, but I don't have enough screen real estate to fit all this stuff in. And for now, I'm going to define a background image, but later on in this tutorial, I'm actually going to get rid of this. And I'm going to put in a gradient that is built based off of CSS so that it'll be nice and easy for me to change text or background colors and all that stuff. And this guy is called FC Text Area. Made it ahead of time. And then I'm also going to grab this guy, NTT Article Title. Find that. Since it's a class, you have to start it off with a dot. If it was an ID, we would start it off with a hash. And this time I'm going to position it absolutely. That means I'm going to tell it exactly where I want it to show up. And I do that by then referencing top being 40 pixels from the top and then left 20 pixels. And then I'm going to find that I want the font to be bold. 24 pixels, 30 inside here for line height, Georgia, and then I'm going to say serif. I'm going to give my text color a color of 6 
And eventually I'm going to show you how to do this in GIMP, which is a free image editor instead of Photoshop, because I know a lot of you guys can't afford Photoshop. Hell, I can barely afford Photoshop. I'm just defining all of the information that I got previously. And then I want my text align to be centered. See, I'm putting a box around this text right here. This is actually going to be a box that's like this big. And then I'm going to say any words that are contained inside of it are going to center. That means that it doesn't matter what this title is. It can be real long or it can be real short. Either way, the text is always going to be aligned to the center of this whole entire container. That's why I'm doing it the way that I'm doing it. And then to be fancy, I'm going to throw a text shadow, which is just a background effect. White. 1.5 pixels down, 1.5 pixels to the right, one pixel. So if we file save that and reload, you could see, okay, well, sales techniques just popped up as did the box that we defined. So that's great. So let's jump back over into the actual place we're going to have it. No, by the way, this stuff isn't going to exist here whenever this is a plug-in. Actually, body won't. None of this will. But this is just the way you have to start out building these guys. So the next thing i got to define is the text lies right inside of here. And you could view this full screen, by the way. It is an HD video. If you can't see what I'm doing, you probably left already if you hadn't seen what I was doing before. Or actually, instead, I'm going to do the horizontal rule, and I'm going to use a fake horizontal rule that's going to look like a horizontal rule, but because I define it as a div, it's going to actually show up better for me. And we'll div, and what the heck, let's go and define that text that's right here instead. And I'm going to call it div, and I'm going to call give it a class equal to NTT article excerpt div copy point and then show where these divs close off and I'm going to grab some lipsum text and then I'm going to paste that lipsum text inside of here and then file save it and then open up the style area so then I'm going to create the horizontal rule and it's a class and I'm going to say I want to position it also absolutely whoops it's absolute and I'm going to say from the top I want to go down to 87 pixels 20 pixels from the left side h-e-i-g-h-t two pixels and then it's going to have a width of 315 pixels. And it's going to have a background color, PE. Again, it's a gray. And you're going to be able to, of course, change the colors on these after I change some things here. And we have to put in this stuff here because Internet Explorer, of course, doesn't like whenever you do anything that's at all creative. They have to try to figure out a way to make, mess that up. Okay, so that's how you create that horizontal rule that I have there. And then I'm going to define some styling. And this is the name of the class for that guy. I'm going to position this also absolute from the top, 105 pixels, left, 20 pixels, font, say 12 pixels, 17 line height, Georgia, serif color. And I'm going to give it a width. Remember, this is what's going to contain all of the text that lipsum text that we put in there, and a height of 120 pixels. So that's the excerpt area. So we'll file save that, jump over here, reload, and now you can see that the horizontal rule showed up and there is the text. So now what do we gotta do? Well, we gotta put the read more little guy in there, which is right down here. This is all coming together real fast. I mean, this is really awesome. I mean, once you get good at HTML and CSS, you can pretty much do anything you want really, really, really fast. So I'm going to come in here again, put in another div, equal to class, and this is NTT, read more, paste in a little bit of comment. I also heavily comment my code way more than I do in these tutorials. And read more, I'm just going to type in as read more, even though this right here is all uppercase letters, I'm going to do it this way. And then I'm going to use Use CSS styling to actually come in and make it the way that you want it to make. So file save, jump into style, NTT. This is how I normally do it. I just jump back and forth over and over and over again. And I'm not saying this is the best way, this is just the way I do it. I'm not one of those people that really believes in telling people that there's an absolute way to do anything, because that just takes the fun out of everything. Do it the way you want. Because in my opinion, if it works, it works. And that's all that matters. And I'm going to make this bold. 14 pixels, 17 pixels line height, Helvetica, and I'm going to do sans serif. This is the text color, FF. Text shadow, we're going to copy this so I don't have to type it out again. One pixel, one pixel. This just puts a little bit of a shadow in the background. And then that zero means that I don't want the text shadow to be blurred. And remember I said I don't want it to be able to type in in lowercase or whatever and then automatically make it uppercase. Well, this is how you do that in CSS code. Text transform uppercase. Reload, and there it is. See, it showed up. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so back into featured content. What do we got to do? We got to put this image in here. And again, later on, this is going to be something that's pulled dynamically from inside of WordPress. But for now, it's just going to be the way that it is. Everything's done in baby steps. Well, I'm done with the text div, though I need a new div that's outside of the text div. And I'm going to give it a class name equal to NTT featured pick. 
right, like that, closing div, like that. And then inside of this guy, I'm gonna point at temporarily this featured image, but later on again, this is gonna be all dynamic inside of WordPress, but this is just the way you have to do it whenever you start out, or it's at least the way I do it. I don't know anybody that goes in and does all this stuff all at one time. Everything's done in pieces. That way you don't get confused. But if you're real smart, I guess you could do it all at one time. And I'm gonna give it Alt of Handshake for now, but again, this is gonna be dynamic also. So that's awesome. Jump over to style, dot NTT, featured, pick, and then do some CSS styling. Position it absolutely, and I want it to be across the top, so I don't want it to have any distance from the top. And then left, I want it to appear 378 pixels from the left, width of 576 pixels because that's how big it is. H -E -I -G -H -E 240 pixels. And that's all we had to do. And we reload it. And there's our little picture of the handshake. And so that's awesome. And now I'm going to make the whole entire bar here all in one little clip. So this is a new div area. So I have to surround all of this with one box. So we're going to have to come in here. It's going to be a master box. Class is equal to NTT. And I'm going to call it thumb box. And this is a big guy, so I'm actually going to come in here and actually define this. First thing i got to do is come in here and define the div that's going to surround the left button, which is right here. And then I'm going to define all these other little pieces. Class, div, class is equal to NTT, left button. Close that off. And then I'm going to define an image that's going to always be there, which is going to be the button image. It's equal to, and it's going to be in my images folder, in the same folder here. And it's going to be called FC, left arrow, alt, and I'm going to put back inside here. Close that off. File save. We'll call this left button. Position relative to the box that surrounds it. Top, it's going to be 36 pixels from that guy. And then left, it's going to be 8 pixels. And then I'm also going to have to define the box that's going to surround all this stuff, and that's NTT. Thumb box, and it's going to be positioned absolutely 240 pixels from the top, left 378 pixels. And it's going to have a width 576 pixels, height of 86 pixels, and a background color of F5, F5, F5. And if we file save it, reload, you can see that there is the arrow and there's the surrounding box. It's gray, so that's awesome. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to define everything else. So right after, again, we want this to stay inside of NTT Thumbbox. I'm going to create all those boxes that show up up here. And how I'm going to do that, I need to think about this in a way that is going to allow me to change the number of those in the future. Thumbnail. And this is frame. So these are actually going to be divs that are going to surround the image that lays inside of there. So for now, this is going to be image source is equal to images. Thumb. Hands is the name of that little image. Class equal to, now I only need one of these guys by the way, and this is going to be NTT, featured, thumb, alt text is going to be featured page for now. Again, this is going to change. Pretty much everything you're seeing here is not going to change, but these things will change. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this guy, just for now, just so we can see, and this will look better. And I pasted that in there five times. Now in the style sheet, I'm actually going to style each one of those thumbnails at the same time because it's a class. So I'm going to go NTT, thumbnail frame. So all five of those are going to show up at the same time. Position is going to be relative. And then I want them to float to the right. So as each one of them is created, they slip into the right side of the screen. So you can have one or two or five of them. It doesn't matter. And then we'll put our width at 58. And then to make everything line up nicely, it's going to have a margin of negative 12 pixels from the top, 47 pixels from the right, zero pixels from the bottom, and then zero pixels. And then it's gonna have a background image that is this guy. It's in the images folder. And I'm gonna to have to go into the featured thumb, which is gonna be the image that lies inside of the frame that we just created. And we're gonna position it relative to that little tiny box that contains it. And we're gonna give it four pixels left four pixels, so this is gonna put it in the center. What this is gonna do, if it has a height of 48 pixels and a width of 48 pixels. File save that, jump over here, reload, and there they are, all these different images that are inside of there. And they're all broken because I did not put a B inside of here. Easily corrected, B, B. File save, and there you go, there's all those images showing up inside of there, just like we want them. And then now all that we need to do is create the little right button and we're done. So still inside of the thumb box, we're going to create a new div and it's going to have a class equal to NTT right button. 
And then we're going to put image source, arrow, ping, and I'm going to say alt next. And then jump into the style section after you save it. Position it relative, six pixels down from the top, and left, 551 pixels. And if you finally save that for the grand finale, I'll make this real big. And you can see right here that there is the featured content area that we created and most of the HTML or all the HTML and all the CSS needed to create it. In the next tutorial, I'm going to move you towards WordPress and making this all more dynamic. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, till next time.